Baseball News Club is bringing you your ultimate spring training guide. Sit back, relax, and get ready to go down the rabbit hole of spring training. Baseball News Club presents spring training. I'm going to need you to subscribe, follow, comment, and like the video. Welcome. Today we're going to be talking about both the Cactus League and the Grapefruit League. Here's the websites presented by Camping World. Here's the teams that we'll be looking at in the Cactus League. And then for the Grapefruit League, here's the site. And then here's the teams that we're going to be talking about and their facilities. Let's get rocking. Now here's the full list, Cactus League and Grapefruit League side by side. Starting with the Cactus League, we're going to go into the first team, which is the Arizona Diamondbacks. This is their website. They play at Salt River Fields. It has a seating capacity of 11,000. Arizona Diamondbacks, San Francisco Giants and Colorado Rockies all play at Scottsdale location. Now all the sites that we look at will provide you with enough ticket information, location information, and COVID information so you'll have a good idea before you go out to watch your spring training team on how to prepare for it. Salt River Fields at Talking Stick for the Arizona Diamondbacks. Now let's move on to another team that is also playing at Scottsdale. That's the San Francisco Giants. San Francisco Giants play at Scottsdale Stadium, located in the middle of historic Old Town with a capacity of 12,000 fans, one of the bigger fan stadiums. Now, also at Scottsdale is the Colorado Rocky Spring Training Facility. They also play at the same stadium as the Arizona Diamondbacks. That is Salt River Fields. Their website's pretty good. A lot of information on it compared to other sites. And here's the field, great view, great stadium. Here it is at night. And another good angle right there. Now let's move along to the Chicago Cubs location in Mesa. Now the Cubbies play at one of the biggest stadiums, Sloan Park, which is 15,000 capacity. It's a great park. Go ahead and click on there and it, their website's kind of basic. It doesn't really have a lot of photos or videos or anything like that, but it does have the information you need on food, facility rentals, transportation, and more. Now I've been to a spring training game here and it is super fun. Now let's look at the other team that plays in Mesa, the Oakland Athletics. This is a great website. Look at that pitch coming down the gut and the logo. I really like it a lot. And it's got basic information on here on Ho Ho Cam Park. Look at that, looking good. And then something to remind people, don't walk down the aisles during the inning, wait till in between innings. Baseball 101 folks, come on. And in addition, they really got good information on here for face coverings, physical distancing, hand sanitation, cashless, so a lot of good info. Let's move ahead to Cincinnati Reds. They play at the Goodyear facility, Goodyear Ballpark, with a seating capacity of 8,000. Now obviously with COVID, we're gonna have a percentage of the fans, but a lot of good information on here on the seating chart in the stadium. Look at this. Berm seating up there, right field pavilion, and then party patio. That's where I want to go. Now, also, the Cleveland Indians share the stadium with Cincinnati Reds. Here's the Indians site, showing the same information. Party patio again, and there's the field. Let's move on over to Chicago White Sox, who play in Glendale. Their site's pretty cool, pretty basic. Here's the stadium, Camelback Ranch. This has a trip planner, which is really cool to have, but I love the lawn seating. There's so much lawn seating, and then right and left field, all you can eat patio, but the lawn seating is perfect for foul balls, absolutely. And again, trip planner will help you understand what to do. Glendale's a good place to cruise around, really good site. Both the Dodgers and the White Sox use this facility. Camelback Ranch. Comes with some driving details, how to get to the facility. Stadium seating capacity is 13,000. Also, it gives you places to go and restaurants in the Glendale area. And look at this, Epic Wings. Sounds really good right now. Again, the Dodgers play there. They have their COVID-19 safety measures right on the front page. Camelback Ranch, Glendale. There it is again, beautiful sunny day. Let's move ahead to the San Diego Padres and the Seattle Mariners. 
Peoria Sports Complex. That's where they're playing. Now, for ticket information, there's going to be limited capacity at all stadiums. Some have already been sold out, so make sure you get online and get your tickets right away. Let's take a look at the sports complex. There it is. Yeah, a little over 12,000 seating. Nice little view there. Information how to purchase tickets. And there's the shot. Now, the Mariners site is pretty basic, similar to the Padres. Just gives you the basic information, COVID, tickets. But look at this. Guy's wearing a Griffey jersey. Nice. Very nice. Moving ahead to the Milwaukee Brewers. They also play at Peoria. I like their site. Christian Yelich on the cover. Trip planning available. A lot of good information. American Family Fields. Batter's Eye reminds me of San Diego. Now let's go ahead and take a look at, finally, the Texas Rangers. They play in Surprise. Their website's pretty cool. Most of these sites are pretty basic. There's a few, though, that we're going to point out that are really cool sites. Let's take a look at the bottom here. Surprise Stadium is where they play. There's their seating capacity right there. 10,500 fans. It's a beautiful facility for the Royals and the Rangers. Let's go ahead and click on the Royals site. Again, pretty basic. And Surprise Stadium. Same basic information for you to get a hold of. And then at the bottom, they help you out with where to stay. It's a nice stadium. And last and not least in the Cactus League is the Los Angeles Angels Tempe Diablo Stadium. Looks really cool. But when you click on it, all they give you is a basic look at the Diablo Stadium. So not a lot of information on their site. Now moving ahead, we're going to do the Grapefruit League. Let's look at the teams we're going to be talking about. These are all the teams. We're going to start off with Atlanta. Their site's pretty basic. I like the Cool Today Park. I like that name. Here it is. It does look kind of cool. Seating capacity around 8,000. Now we move ahead to the Baltimore Orioles in Sarasota. Their site's actually one of the better sites. And it's kind of funny because they all, all should be the same, but they have a lot of details on here. You know, they got the schedule, COVID information, but then they got these videos and photos that you can look at, which is super cool. If you want to get the fans involved, you got to give them stuff. So. It's actually a pretty good interactive site. Ed Smith Stadium is their stadium. Looks like a kind of racetrack mixed with Florida. And then when you look on their site, they've got all types of health and fitness stuff. Food drive, so they're really big on the community. And they also have community heroes, so really good site. What do you expect from Oriole fans? Cool little stadium setup, left field pavilion. Now let's move ahead to the Boston Red Sox. The Red Sox play in Lee County. The Red Sox play at Fenway South Park or Jet Blue Park Fenway South. Capacity 10,800. And then the Minnesota Twins. They also play in Lee County. Their spring training facility is Hammond Stadium at Century Link Sports Complex, which has about a seating capacity of 9,300. Super cool looking facility. Now on the seating map, you see these confession stands. I mean, concession stands. It's a pretty cool facility. Again, it's a sports complex. Look how many baseball fields and softball fields are there. Pretty crazy. Let's move ahead to the Detroit Tigers who play at Publex Field at Joker Merchant Stadium. Capacity of 8,500. They have a really cool video that shows the stadium. Now for the Houston Astros. Let's go ahead and click on them. They play at the ballpark of the Palm Beaches. Seating capacity is about 7,800. And Washington Nationals also play at the same location. Let's go ahead and click on the Nationals. There we go. Their site's just the same as Houston Astros. Pretty basic site. Now we're moving ahead to the Jupiter location for the Miami Marlins. They play at Roger Dean Chevrolet Stadium with a capacity around 6,800. And then they also share the facility with the St. Louis Cardinals. But look at that. Look how many ball fields are there. An incredible place to go. Bring the whole family. Now let's take a look at St. Louis Cardinals. They have probably one of the best spring training sites. They also have the same information, but they just have extra information on here. And look at what they have. They have spring training videos. So you can be looking at videos day to day of what's going on in spring training, which is pretty awesome. That's all we ask. And of course, Camperland's going to put in their commercials. But let's uh, look at it here. Here's one of the videos. I mean, just sights and sounds. Anything with spring training would help. 
Moving ahead to the New York Mets, Port St. Lucie. It's the home of their minor league team also. About 7,000 seating capacities for concerts, festivals, and more. And out in left field, you've got the Hill. Really cool stadium. Sure, the Met fans are packing it in this year, but again, seating capacity. And then let's move it over to the New York Yankees website. This is actually a really good spring training site. They got the Pinstripe Pass. A lot of information on here for you. Got Cole and Judge on the front. A lot of information on their site, so definitely if you're a Yankee fan you want to attend, they're going to give you more than enough information. And you also have the My Steinbrenner Field account. So all types of neat little things on George M. Steinbrenner Field. There's the aerial view right next to the freeway. So as soon as you get off the freeway, you can go right to the stadium. Now Steinbrenner Field capacity is about 11,000. It used to be called Legends Field up to 2008. Here's a seating chart. Again, a lot of information on their site. They have one of the better sites along with St. Louis Cardinals. Now the Philadelphia Phillies, they play at Bay Care Ballpark, which is a seating capacity about 8,500. It used to be called Clearwater Spectrum Field, but they've now updated it and changed it. Their website's pretty basic. Same information to get on most of the other sites out there. It was built in 1967, but just recently renamed pretty nice stadium so let's leave Clearwater and move on over to Bradenton for the Pittsburgh Pirates they play at Lecom Park seating capacity is about 8500 and the cool part here is you got the boardwalk barbecue area you could watch the game and still look up at the scoreboard okay next we're going to talk about the Tampa Bay Rays in Charlotte County they play at Charlotte Sports Park which is a capacity around 7600 there's no photos on their site their site's actually not that good so i went ahead and looked it up on google for you and then you got the toronto blue jays they play at td ballpark which has a seating capacity around 8500 their site's pretty cool but they didn't have enough photos so again i had to go to google look up the ballpark and here you go it's a great looking park well hope you enjoyed the video thank you very much for watching please follow us and subscribe signing out baseball news club